My name is Arthur Harold, and I am from Solid Rock Baptist Academy in Ontario, California. And the title of my poetry recitation is Old Glory, as adapted by Van Morris. I am the flag of the United States of America. My name is Old Glory. I fly on top of the world's tallest buildings, and I stand watch in America's halls of justice. I fly majestically across the great institutions of learning, and I stand guard with the greatest military power in the world. Look up and see me. I stand for peace, truth, honor, and justice. I stand for freedom. I'm confident, I'm brave, I am proud, and I am ready. When I am flown with my fellow banners, my head is held a little higher, my arms a little truer. Except for my God, I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. I have fought in every battle of every war for more than 200 years. Some of these battles include Gettysburg, Shiloh, Appomattox, San Juan Hills, the trenches of France, the Argonne Forest, Antioch, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, Guam, Okinawa, Korea, Kassan, Saigon, Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq, Kuwait, Syria, and scores of other places long forgotten by all except those that were there with me. I know because I was there. I led my special operation forces in the quiet of the night. And at the tip of the spear, I watched them fight fearlessly throughout the globe every day of the year. I watched over them, even during the casualties of Desert One, and they still loved me. I was on a small hill, Iwo Jima. I was dirty, battle-worn, tired. But my soldiers and my sailors, my airmen, my Coast Guardsmen, my Marines, they all cheered me, and I was so very proud. I was at Ground Zero in New York City on September the 11th, as cowardly fanatics attacked America. I was raised from the ashes of once proud buildings by brave firefighters. These were heroes who risked their lives to save others, showing all that America Although bloodied, will never be beaten because those who would destroy me cannot win. For I am the symbol of freedom, of one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I have been soiled. I've been burned. I've been torn. And I've been trampled on. In the streets of my own country. And when it is done by those whom I've served with in battle, it hurts. But hear me when I say today, I will overcome because I am strong. I've slipped the surly bonds of earth and from my vantage point on the moon, I stand watch over the uncharted new frontiers of space. I've been that silent witness to all of America's finest hours. But my finest hour comes when my stripes are torn into strips to be used as bandages to cover the wounds of my fellow comrades on the field of battle. And also when I fly at half mass to honor my soldiers and my sailors, my airmen, my coast guardsmen, my marines. But most importantly, when I am placed into the trembling arms of her grieving mother, at the gravesite of her fallen son or her fallen daughter. I am so proud. My name is Old Glory. Long may I wave, dear God. Long may I wave.